Consider the following example. If point 1 is the ordered pair negative 2 comma 3, and point 2 is the ordered pair negative 1 comma 5, and V is the vector form of P1 and P2, we want to write V in terms of I and J, or as a linear combination of I and J, and then we want to find the magnitude of that vector. And you see for part A here, I have our V formula written out. Good idea would maybe be to label these X2, X1 rather, Y1, and X2, Y2, and plug in our formula. So V in this case will be X2, which is a negative 1, minus X of 1, remember that's a 1, minus uh, negative 2, the quantity, times I, plus Y2, which is 5, minus Y1, which is 3, times so when we clean this up, negative 1 plus 2 will give us 1 times i plus 2j. And so we've done it. We now have our vector v in terms of i and j. Now for part b, we want to find the magnitude of this vector. And the nice thing about part a is we now have our vector in the form of a times i plus b times j. And to find the magnitude, we have a nice little formula that says the square root of a squared plus b squared will give us our magnitude. So let's go ahead and do that here. We have the square root of a, which was 1 squared, plus b, which is 2 squared. And so from this, we'll have the square root of 5. So we can say that the magnitude of this vector is equal to the square root of 5. So we've done it. We have our vector in terms of i and j, and we found the magnitude of that vector.